So, before going to reaction, we know how we, we should know how to balance these reactions. We all know this old heat and trial method of balancing reactions, and it used to work for very simple, simple reactions, or maybe it used to do, take a little bit of work for a bit complex reactions. But we haven't got reactions as such till now where this hit and trial method would actually not work at all. Because then it would be a lot of hits and trials before you get to the answer and those hits and that, that many hits and trials will take a lot of time for you and eventually you will be you will get fed up of hit and trial method. So before going to the, into the new method, some important points of balanced reactions would be irrational coefficients are never allowed while balancing reactions because it's nothing but the molecules which you are balancing. So, molecules cannot be 1.356798 like this or you can't say you have root 3 molecules or root 4, root not root 4, root 2 molecules. So, irrational coefficients in the reaction cannot be used but this is a new thing that fractional coefficients can be used. Now you might be wondering why fractional coefficients can be used. You can't have 0.5 of a molecule, 0.25 of a molecule. Take suppose you have H2 plus O2 giving H2O. The same old reaction where you have to you have 2 H2 plus O2 gives 2 H2O. Everyone knows the balancing. But now you can use H2 plus half O2 gives H2O. Now this half O2 you might be wondering how they can be half a molecule of oxygen. But we have, we know that molecules, the number of molecules into 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 will give you the number of moles. So they can't be half a molecule of O2, but they can be half a mole of O2. Half a mole is perfectly possible, isn't it? So, if you are taking in molecules terms and just multiply it by Na, you will get the reaction in moles terms. So, we would rather be using moles rather we would be using moles rather than molecules while balancing the reaction. Anyway, the balancing is same, but when we are saying H2 plus half O2 gives H2O, rather than saying a molecule of H2 reacts with half a molecule of O2 to give a molecule of H2O, we would consider one mole of H2 reacts with half mole of O2 to give one mole of H2O. But over here root 2 H2 plus root 2 by 2 O2 gives root 2 H2O is not allowed. Although the ratio is same, it's not allowed because you can't have even root 2 moles of H2O. Because they are irrational. Okay. And while balancing reactions, you can use fractions, but even the fraction has a limit. You cannot multiply it by a fraction lesser than you can you not multiply it by a number lesser than 1 by n because we are eventually what we are doing is multiplying by n so if we divide it if we divide this h2 plus 2h2 plus o2 gives 2h2o by 1 by n if you multiply it by this what it gives is this two moles becomes two molecules. 
So if you divide it by a number greater than any, then the molecules will come out to be in fractions. Isn't it? So you cannot use a uh, number which is less than 1 by Na to balance the reactions. And thirdly, the, as we all know, ratio of coefficients must be constant. This is, this is the uh, law which we all know that the ratio, the, the reactants always combine in a specific ratio and the product is also in the same, not in the same, but in the say, constant ratio with the reactants. All the elements present in the reaction or all the components of the reaction are in a definite ratio which is unique for that reaction. So, you know, it, even if a ratio balances, seems to balance the reaction, the original balanced reaction may not be equal to, it may not be that. Let me give you an example. Suppose we have Fe plus O2 gives FeO plus Fe2O3. So, reaction. Now, you see that you can balance it by this. 3 Fe, 3 Fe, 4 O2 and 4 O, 4 O and 4 O. But this is wrong. Although the reaction or the elements are balanced, but this is wrong because it's not experimentally observed. What is experimentally observed is this. Eight, eight, ten, ten. So this is also balanced. We generally don't come across such examples where the there are two types, two balanced uh, equations. But in this case, both are balanced. But this one is the correct one because this is observed. And these two balancings are not same because they are not in the same ratio. This is three is to eight. This is two is to five. So. They have to be uh, in the same ratio also. So if this is correct, then 16 Fe plus 10 O2 gives 8 FeO plus 4 Fe2 O3. That would also be correct. But 6 Fe plus 4 O2 gives 2 FeO plus 2 Fe2 O3 would be wrong. So this balanced uh, reactions, they have to be in the same ratio and uh, even if all the elements are balanced, it may not be the correct equation because they, uh, experimentally another um, ratio may be observed with this reaction.